I just got to adjust the stream info. Oh boy, though. We are seven days, a singular week away from something else. So I'm assuming slash hoping we're going to be done with both of these games in seven days. Because in seven days, I'm going to be streaming a single thing until I beat that single thing. Um, yeah, okay, the stream information is updated. Yeah, I hope I can 100% Tomba in, like, two days. Or not two days, but, you know within the seven, seven that I'm giving myself. Now we will file. Yeah, really the only thing I'm worried about for the 100% from what I've seen so far is uh, butterflies, but that's fine because we don't have to worry about the butterflies right now, because here we are, in wherever the hell we are. We are at the village of civilization. Somewhere where we are, this way. It's time to go be civilized. Wow, look at how civilized that tower is. Um, I don't know, I guess we're... Hey, I didn't say Tombo was civilized. We're just here where the civilized people are. Hey, it's you again. Well, what do you think about the clock tower? It looks fabulous, doesn't it? It's called the Village of Civilization, and it's famous for the clock tower, iron castle, and factory here. What kind of civilization is it anyway if all the machines don't work? Oh, by the way, thanks to you, my favorite hat's been returned. Thank you very much. Hey, why don't you try some juice I just made? It's pretty good, right? What juice? I'm afraid I don't have any bananas right now. You see, bananas grow in the jungle. The jungle is where the Masakari live, and, well, you get the picture. I didn't get a notification for juice. Did you give me juice? I don't think he gave me juice. With my juice, sir. Wow, that's very helpful of you. like the juice to give to the monkey, but he just told me about it and then proceeded to not give me any juice. Well, that's great. Goodbye. Ah. He's just trying to jump off the chain. Oh, I thought he just said he didn't have any bananas. I mean, I do have bananas if he wants them. What? You wouldn't got these for me? Wait one minute, okay? Oh, that's what he meant by juice. Banana juice? You squeeze them like this, see? Real tight. Squeeze. 
Ooh, there you go. Banana just acquired. Wow. You were very good at squeezing those bananas, sir. So good, in fact, that I'm going to leave very hastily. I am going to give these to the monkey after I save, because I'm pretty sure I still have no lives. Don't know, because I don't see the pop-up. Because I'm not in a dangerous area. Oh, there it is. Yep. One, as in I can die once, and then I'll see the lovely game over screen. I blame the platforming segments that aren't great, and also that other thing. Oh yeah, the mushrooms. The mushrooms are really to blame for everything that's ever wrong. Hello monkey, I'm coming. I heard you like juice. I know you said you're sick of bananas, but have some juice. Wow, that's banana juice. Thanks, I'll enjoy it later. But why later? You wanted the refreshing drink now. Now I'll teach you how to swim. Are you ready? Whenever you feel ready, just jump into the river over there. Oh, yeah, I definitely trust you to teach me after I jump in. Hey, can you hear me? Calm down. Stop flopping around so much. That's what makes you drown. See, when you're calm, you can float, but be careful. Now, without flopping about too much, press the square button while pressing the directional button. Each time you press the square button, you'll move forward. Not too bad. By the way, the left side of the river leads to a waterfall, so don't go that way. It's a long way down. Okay, looks like you got the hang of it. Come and jump onto this ladder over here. I'm surprised you mastered how to swim so fast. I will say that that is definitely not the way to teach someone to swim. I will say that because I don't know how to swim. And that was not the way to teach me how to swim. Wait, I thought I knew how to swim. Yeah, that, 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 that is my reaction. <laughs> well, we're going to try that again. I hope that that was not because of what I think the reason was, because that would be really dumb. Oh my lord. But I wouldn't be surprised if it was. Also, I love this parasol, but I need to definitely use it from higher up. Yeah. I know you're thinking what I'm thinking right now, and I cannot believe that if that's actually the case. Oh my lord. Well, let me, um, I guess eat this lunchbox because I don't want to be dead. Well, you see, Humble was fine in the cutscene. Ergo, I did not suspect anything was wrong.
Okay. Now we shall swim. And by swim, I mean mostly use the parasol, because that is faster. Can I not go up that ladder? Oh, I'm not trying to use the leaf butterfly, I'm trying to go... There we go. Old Tree Hill. Okay, well that's nice. Let me just make sure that I can't... Now that I know what button it is, that I can't, uh, say, go up the river. I don't think I can. But what amazing river graphics that is. Hello, bird. Can I destroy you? Are you a good bird? Are you an evil bird? Ouch! What do you think you're doing, young man? Why did you bite me? Wait a second. Okay, got it. I'll ask him. The old tree says he's not angry. He just has one small favor to ask. As you can see, the old tree is well old. He can't suck up enough nutrients from the ground on his own anymore. That's why he's getting weaker day by day. But there's one way this old tree can be healthy again. Pump rocks lie all across this continent. These rocks actually have water with lots of nutrients inside of them. If you step on all of these rocks and push them into the ground, the nutrients will seep into the soil and the old tree will be better again. You're telling me this old tree has roots that literally go over the entirety of the universe. Okay. You know, that that's literally no less believable than anything else in this game, so... I'll just do that. Oh, lord. I have stepped on so many rocks. Or I feel I've stepped on so many rocks. I've stepped on a lot of things, actually. Also, I just saved, so I'm just going to say this, like, why? I have an umbrella. I'm immune to fall damage. Ah. Well, we're gonna find them, and we're gonna step on them. I mean, if I get to the point where I'm about to beat the game, I will, if I need to, to do completion, just pull up a guide and look up where everything is. But I will try to find everything without resorting to that if possible. What is this knowledge fruit? I don't even remember that. I guess I gotta find Adam and Eve or something. But I do remember having charity rings. Right, it's time to find rock, and butterfly, and water, and everything else we need to find. Wow, we. Well, these aren't rocks, these are weird plants. Is this a rock? I, I wouldn't be surprised. I do tend to do that. I also don't understand the point of this room. Like, at all. Can 
and I burn it to the ground. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised, but I am almost kind of surprised that I'm still not, like, at the late game. But, this game is longer than I thought it would end up being. Are you a rock? No. But are you a rock? No. I think there's like a blue chest somewhere around here. I can't remember for sure though. Those are the pump rocks. Oh, I see. But then the the They're not rocks. I don't even know what I would call them. But rock is definitely not it. I guess... I know they're accordion somethings. I just can't decide what the first adjective, what the noun should. Yeah, accordion something. I just can't decide what the second noun would be. So many things that I learned. Every day from playing this game. Oh yeah, I, I, I think I remember there being a blue chest in the air, but now I'm not like 100% sure. I'm too like... Too mentally destroyed by the facts and logic of those being rocks. enough of that. Uh -oh. I think this is where there is water. The original water. Hold on a second. Okay, well, as we see, technically... I could have come here before I learned how to swim. Also, I can't go in here because the door is closed and it doesn't have a door handle, which is very, very unfortunate. Now, that's the primary reason I came all the way back here. But I guess that's going to have to wait. There is always the chance it's a push door, but I haven't done the side quest where Tomba has to get the banana sundae for the monkey after getting the underwear for the dude, after getting the key for the old dwarf that allows him to unlock the ability to push things. So I will have to come back. Now, we shall continue on our way. Just keep an eye out for things. Excuse me, bird. Well, thank you. That was a nice lift. I 
Do you have anything new to say? Still quite a way to go. Be patient and don't get hurt. Wow, thanks, Grandpa. Have fun being 100 years old. So I guess he's got a long way to go, considering I'm a 1,000-year-old man. And I know there's a 10,000-year-old man. So it's very possible that people just don't die in this universe. Unless they're killed. I know I found a decent amount, but... It would make sense that the majority are found here. Oh, there's more. Oh, leaf butterfly, come back. I just wish that the pigs were not sliding into me. I really hope I got all the leaf butterflies from the jungle, because that was truly the most nightmarish of locations to collect anything. I'm glad that I got a quest by jumping into the fire. Wait, hold on. Is this... Is this where I use the bucket of water to put out the fire? Oh my lord. Hold on, what was cooking? This raises many questions in of itself, such as why were the pigs cooking a yam? Who needs the yam? What is a yam, in fact? These are many questions that I've never known the answer to in any era of my life. Maybe at least one of those questions will be answered by playing this game. Probably not the what is a yam question. I don't expect to ever actually know what that is. I must find a sign that tells me to save. Which probably shouldn't be too hard. There should be one right here. Huzzah. You're a wobbly wharf. Well, here at Wobbly Wharf, I should not have a problem living. Now that I can swim, we can rename it to Living Lake. Oh, that's nice. don't know if there's anything else I can do here. Oh, well, now there's these statues that I don't know what to do about. Um... Do they want yam? Do they want bucket? Do they want knowledge? Do they want drum? Do they want flower? Do they perhaps want, uh, Dirty Mirror? No. Oh, I'm out of ideas. I'm gonna drop off these butterflies while I'm at it. Oh wow, we 10,000 points. Only points gave me extra lives, and then that might actually be nice and useful. Oh, you already have a couple! Yahoo! You got 17. I won't tell you how many more you need. And I'm definitely not gonna tell you why I need them. But 
Why can't I go this way? I want to go to the leaf slider. I'm sure that I can find more butterflies at the leaf slider. Fine. I... I'm going to go somewhere else. Oh, it does. Does it? playing Tomba 2 in the future. And it's gonna be like, well, you need to play Tomba 1 and get the Crime Mushroom. Save that game, then load that save file into Tomba 2 to unlock this main story item. And I'm not gonna question it, because that sounds about right, but I'm still gonna sigh. I'm also going to wonder why I broke this tower and nothing came of it. Still don't know what to do about that. I guess we'll just leave that for now. Um, I don't remember if I've been here since I've gotten the key chest. I think there was at least one blue. That is not a blue. However... Oh good, it doesn't let me use the bucket. I didn't I didn't really want to fill it up again, but I thought the game would want me to, so... I grabbed it just in case. But Sweet Mercy is on my side today. Well, in this area specifically. If they're not on my side, is I've got to go to the Mushroom Land. Listen, sir. Oh, I can't light this this hay watchtower on fire. Alas, I will glide to safety over here. Just gotta make it back on um, one health. Oh, hold on. 
we're gonna solve that issue real fast. Way to solve the problem. Now, we still probably won't make it without much irritation, but we'll probably at least live through the irritation. to Dorfland again. That's not Dorfland. Cancerland. At least it's Cancerland until I can cure the wind. And then it'll be more like Bronchitis Land. I can see half of this game giving people nightmares. Just if they played at the wrong moments, at the wrong age, in the wrong lighting. Okay, Tombo. Let's go in the hole. Force run when I'm in the air. Very nice. Hey, 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 there, there. Don't really cry now. Alright, alright, I'll let you pass. Just stop crying. I like how just because one random kid started crying, he just completely abandons his post. For all time. Okay, so I found three crystal balls. That doesn't really tell me what to do with them. Lost and found completed, but... Who do they go to? Or they're just mine now. Oh my lord. What is this... Oh, well, I don't want to be here. That's for damn sure. But here I am. Body and mind become blue. Oh, well, now I just need red. Can I use this right now? Well, is that not... Yeah, 
You know, that raises two points. Firstly, the parasol is not remotely helpful when trying to pick things up. Which, sure. But also, would I not have just fallen and died anyway? If I didn't have the parasol there? Over a pit. It's over a pit. Went the wrong way again. Not entirely sure I understand that chest being where it is, giving what it does. But I suppose I'm not going to question it too much. Oh, well then I'm definitely glad that uh, I am redoing this. Because I most certainly do not want to have to go get something again. I imagine I did, but I also probably need a red powder, do I not? Well, see, it said blue plus red, the flowers are red, but it turned blue and not purple. Which is unfortunate, because the flower is red. But it's not red enough. I could definitely sympathize with this dwarf if he was trying to guard this path just to keep people out of the horrible mushroom forest. Which that he very easily gives up. Now anyone who comes here is doomed. Alright, now to find the red powder, wherever that might be. Still don't really understand what these ghost squashes in the sky are about, but you know. There's a lot of things I don't understand about this universe, so that's not really... Wait, what's this third color of mushroom? Wait, is it the same as this one? So just randomly a lighter color. I guess they're all different. Oh my lord. I just want to see if I missed anything anywhere. But it does not appear that I did. This is the sign that said... No. This is about the monsters. And apparently there's a really horrible monster here that I have not seen. Excuse me, jellyfish. Can you GTFO? I want to go in this door, but I cannot.
Gotta remember to press the the stones in. Oh, for completion's sake, I'm gonna open this up. But I'm not going to get it, because that would be silly. I don't remember if I got the blue chest that was over here. But I guess we're gonna double check. And the answer is... We did not. Oh boy. Points. What I always wanted. Um. There's water somewhere here. So I guess we can explore the water rooms. I'm no longer haunted. Now home to some banjo players. Okay, well, that room is still useless to me because I don't have a key. Still has these annoying plants, but you know they—they, they, I guess they're gonna have to be accepted. Who are you? Home sweet home. Thanks, Tomba. What do you mean, thanks? I don't even know who you are. And you don't know who I am. That might actually be the only water room. That I can do anything in. But I'm not entirely sure. Who are you? Wow, it's been a long time since they ran us out of here. Oh, are these the mice? Were they also cursed? With the mansion? Oh my lord, owie owie. I guess I can go back to Mouse Village and answer that question myself. That would raise the question why everyone lives in a singular mansion, though. Which may or may not be a better unanswered question. Pretty sure there's no water down here. Oh, there is, but it doesn't do anything. I cannot dive underwater. Unless that is a power Tombo gets after collecting 1,000 jelly beans and bringing them to the 1,000-year-old man. Very, very wary about that face. Excuse me, I want that chest. Hey there, long time no see. Uh, what was your name again? What? This is the first time we've met? Sure, sure. Well, anyway, what did you come to see me for? A treasure? Ha ha ha. Don't worry, I gave that to my right-hand man. I can't trust anyone else. 
No, that's... I, I need that. Would you like a yam? Would you like literally any of these things in my inventory? you like a blue evil pig bag? I want to burn this mansion to the ground and everyone with it. I, I don't think I can do anything else at this mansion. Which means... I don't know where to go. So, I suppose we shall... like the best option here. Nope, those people weren't the mice, because here's the mice. Yeah, um... Who are those random people that move back into the mansion? I've never seen any of them. Okay, well, we got the mouse pig bag. I mean, that could be something I could go do. But lord knows, the evil pig from the mouse pig bag is probably like... in an outhouse that I've been to once and there's nothing there so I left it and now I'll never go back there. I am going to travel around aimlessly for now until I find something new to do. Because I don't know how to use any of the items in my inventory. And I can't remember any other water area. Oh, this is not... Not the area to have a parasol. Hold on, can I get past it? Oh, thank the lord. I must take off the parasol. As I remember where it is. There it is. However, I am going to put on the fire, because for whatever reason, I jump higher and move faster with the fire, as I've definitely determined by being here previously. actually something up there. Too bad I literally have no idea how to get up there. Probably can't with uh, the wind.
I don't know if the grapple would connect. Oh, it does. But will it help? It did. Will that help? No. Not really. I guess I'll leave the fire off for now. jump is like 8 million percent easier to make with the fire, for some reason. What? That can still hit me? I really hate you after what your people have put me through, but maybe you want a drum? Bunga. Um, that's... Bunga. Molasses acquired. Dark black honey. Might become sweet if you mix it with something else. afraid to try using it because it's not blue so it'll probably go away if I use it oh my lord of course that's what that is okay I got one of them the other one is still up there you this horrid creature Can't even open the menu to equip something. I feel like every reaction I've had has been more than appropriate for this game. Just uncensored. Uncensored self when playing this game sometimes. All the life is still there. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We are going to very carefully get that life. We are gonna very carefully try to get that money. Humble. Holy moly boy. If only, if only many things, if only, say, I could have a hotkey of abilities, 
so I can switch easier. If only I could kill that creature so it's not there. If only I could use the grappling hook while I'm on fire. There are many if onlys, but there's only one Tomba. This single set of frames is probably the most painful frames of this game, honestly. It's not causing me to die, it's not causing me to lose health, it's just... It is unnecessarily painful in so many ways. I'm sure that this would be like 8 billion times easier if it wasn't windy. And I'm sure there's a way to stop the wind. And maybe I can even stop the wind before doing this. But I'm already here, goddammit. I don't even know if I have the pig bag for this area. I have the mouse pig bag. And then I have... I don't think I have the pig bag for this area. I have the mouse one, and I have the, the forest one. The dwarf forest one, I think. Oh. I will say to this game's order of operations what I say what I used to say in math class which is I don't fucking care I'm doing it my way okay now, I want I think that I will I will do this this way because I want to go over there okay only need to get up there one more time I know what I'm gonna do to get through this but I just need to get up there one more time This is how we're going to do it. We will see what's up there, which is probably nothing. Nothing of any value. But it's still a question that must be answered. Well, getting the pig bag for this place is like priority number. If there's a number that's emphasizes more than one, then that is what the priority for getting this place cleansed is. Okay. Nope. I need two different kinds of keys. This. Okay, just drop. Holy moly. If it, if I was not able to drop there, I don't even know what I'd do. Probably not be able to do anything, honestly. Probably just literally be stuck forever and all time. I will see if I can get the pig bag for this place. So I imagine it would have to be, like, here. Or somewhere close to it. He's not gonna let me through, I don't think.
right. Let me just ask this, is the pig bag on this map screen? That, that would be what I would like to know before I start doing some really dumb shit. Okay. Well, then it's Operation Parasol again. Whether it'll do anything, I don't know. Now we gotta put away the parasol. Now we gotta take out the parasol. What are you doing here? Get out of here. This is my mountain. that you fell off the phoenix after all. What a coincidence that you ended up in Bacchus Village. The phoenix? Oh, you went back to his nest up over there. Blah, 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 blah. I don't have time for mice. I... I've got a parasol to use. With the power of the parasol, I will go over here. Okay. Sea ledge. The question is can I get to that ledge? I mean, Yes, but no. Okay. I'm getting that chest. I still have an extra life. So it'll, it'll probably be lost here. But that's fine. Because between this and the mushroom place, this is probably the majority of my deaths. So once this place is cleared, I'd like to say everything will be fine. That's probably not true. But it'll be more true than not true. No, I'm just gonna save at the sign while I'm here. It'll be fine. We're gonna save at the sign. And then we're gonna go on through. But I couldn't be grabbed when I was on fire. What? Some plant based hacks. Back to parasol mode. So I have to use it from up there because the parasol does not work down there. That's fine. That is a hundred percent fine.
fine, because... It is now time for Yeehaw. Where do I get- where do I have all these lives from? I still have two extra lives? Where did I get those? Don't know. But if we can keep them, we're going to try. Let's see. I thought I had zero. Then I got the two from there. Then I died twice. Now I still have two. I I missed when I got two additional ones. Maybe getting a hundred thousand points is like two lives? I'm not entirely sure. I'll have to pretend to remember to look back on the video when I'm, uh, separating this into Final Fantasy. So, we need to jump down. We're gonna go in here. We're gonna go to the lava caves. We're gonna save in the cave. And now that we saved in the cave, now we are going to attempt to do jumping. So that way, when I die five more times, I'm right there. Oh, almost. said when we die we will be right here okay I very nearly had that jump I think I need to jump at oh like so painfully short by an inch by a microscopic inch we'll get it I'm sure that if I didn't hate the controls as much ugh. I'm probably am gonna have to use the grappling hook. The grappling hook is not as great to use midair. You'd think that Tombo would have genuine claws, given that he's a feral child, but alas. He manicures them pretty well, though so they're not suited to grabbing onto rock. At least not during this horrendous typhoon. Okay. 
that is not a pig bag. That is, in fact, a feather. Well, that does drastically reduce the amount of places I can be searching. I don't even know if I can get back safely. Oh, like through the lava caves? Okay. That. figure out how to get back safely. My first thought is fire, because fire is very safe. See, fire is very safe. Oh, I see. I see now. I think I see. We're still gonna attempt to be very safe. We're Excuse me, sir. Dashing pants. She blows. Tama, just jump. Just jump. Oh my lord. Well, thank you for that bit of direction. Now, the million dollar question of where in the literal hell is this pig of evil? Perhaps the most evil of all the pigs, given what they've done to this horrible place. I would definitely wager that there is no pig more evil. I imagine they're so evil that they spell evil. E-V-I-L-L-E. Did I save? Well, I'm saving again. Okay. Well, I would hope that the evil pigs are not, like, in literally the same maps as other ones, so I'm gonna assume there's none here. Instead, I shall... Use one of my unfortunately dwindling wings to go somewhere. Which is where? I'm just gonna take a wild guess and start from here. 
I do have like seven wings, well six now. Can I go in this door? Why can't I go in the big metal door? That's where I want to go. Big metal room seems the opposite of wind. Does the door want baked jam? No. I'm secretly hoping that one of the pig bags is in that one of the like two I've acquired in the past ten minutes or so that one of them is in the jungle. Also, so I can just be done with the jungle as soon as possible. Ugh, but there's chests here I can't open, so I'm not gonna be done with the jungle for a while. Why are you here? Okay. Well, whatever. I don't know which one it is, but I really hope it's the one I just got. I could care less about curing the mice. They can stay as mice. Wow, if it isn't just some funny looking kid. This is some kind of joke. I figured all sorts of big scary people would come to fight me. I can beat anyone here, no matter how many fight me. Why? Because this place is... So I'm, I'm not telling you. For me to know when you to find out. Find out when I crush you. Ha <laughs> ha. If you say so. Wow, that's rude. It's not the red pig bag. Son of ass. Oh jeez. I should have saved. But I did not. Please, sir. I guess I still alive, so even if I didn't save, it won't like make me lose progress. Great. It, now they're just gonna be boring humans again. Oh wow. What a gift I've given to the world. Well, um... As far as I'm concerned, I am done with the jungle until I get some more keys. Cause... Fuck that. Although, I have no idea where I could go to get more keys. I mean, I will eventually make my way back to Mount's Village, but I'm hoping to find the red big door somewhere. Owie. Mm-hmm. 
No red pig door. Could it be over here, perhaps? Probably not. Well, we might find it someday. And definitely not. At this rate. Though to be fair, I got extraordinarily lucky by finding that stupid mouse bag. Well, if I use. If I use the same logic which I used to find that bag, which is let me check some of my most hated locations in existence. So I can cross them off the list first. Then I should. Then I should check the mushroom forest, but I really don't want to. But that would continue the trend. Oh, well, good. Tomba had to die. It was used overdue for a good death session. Okay. I also don't have my lucky parasol equipped. Now, if I have that equipped, then I will not die as much. Oh, butterfly. You butterfly bitch, get back down here. Still need 12 more butterflies. Oh my lord, will you guys stop? Stop existing. I do know there's at least other quests. I still don't know what to do with the statues, for example. I always think that I've got all the butterflies here, but then they keep spawning. You know, I just want to comment. Having owned pigs, I will say that this is probably the most realistic pig behavior. Just laying there and staring at you with a side eye. It's very accurate. This game is very accurate to pig life. Minus the evil part. Who the fuck are you? You find even flat. Oh, that's the child. Um. I mean, this thing has seeds on it. You want some knowledge fruit? Seeds are. I really don't care about them. You think the elder has an eel pig bag? Oh yeah. I can turn the torch on for that guy. I, always, I keep forgetting about that. I don't need to guard the deep forest anymore. I think the Elder did give me the pig bag though. That's just some outdated dialogue. Excuse me, sir. I heard that you like burning to death.
Didn't mean to run off the screen. But perhaps that's more intimidating to a prisoner. You just threaten him with burning to death and then leave without saying anything. Where's the torch? Where's the lantern? I'm on fire! Of, of course this would not be the answer to this. That, that would that would make too much sense. What else can I use to light a torch? Can I use a baked yam, perhaps? Can I use molasses? Can I use flour? Can I use a knowledge fruit? Can I use a dirty mirror? No, none of these things, for some reason, can create light. I guess he's going to be in the dark forever. You guys don't have anything new to say, do you? That is an unfortunate reality. But, it is a reality I've come to accept. Um... Evil pig bag. Yeah, I already got evil pig bag, thank you. Weird looking thing with the letters AP. Boy, charity rings. I don't remember if I heard her say that, but I definitely would would have forgotten this random ass NPC wanting fruit from the tree of knowledge. All right, for Baron, of course. Baron needs all the nutrition he can get right now. Here you go, Baron. Right now, the dog's gonna be intelligent and demand things. You went and found these yourself? It must have been really difficult to find the healing herbs and the fruit from the Tree of Knowledge. Look, even Baron can tell you how much trouble you went through. Look at these. He's always so happy to see you. You know, I've been looking at Baron and thinking, he might have some special powers. His ears are really big, maybe he can... lie with those? Just an idea, that's all. Something about him makes me feel like he's special, you know? Anyway, now we just wait for him to get his strength back. Stop by again, I'm sure Baron would like to see you again soon. Have you been to the beach behind the mansion in the village of all beginnings? This is the time of year and seaweed gets washed up on the shore there. The seaweed is supposed to be really good for you. Usually I go every year and get some seaweed so that everyone will be healthy, but I don't think I can make it this year. If you're in the area, could you get some for me? Doesn't Baron seem like he's gotten bigger? I can't tell if he's just growing or if it's just my imagination. I don't know, lady. I literally can't see him. You're, you're like, holding him into some void dimension. Seaweed. I guess we're eating seaweed. From somewhere. Well, at least I know where to go for the seaweed. And then, once I get the seaweed, I will come back. And then we will learn more about this flying dog. I assume. Oh, 
Okay. Almost at the place of seaweed. Which, incidentally, is a place I can go through to check for the pig bag. Because it's one of my most hated places. So, therefore, logically, the pig bag is here. Or the, the pig door that the pig bag unlocks is here. I will say that, considering it's like the first pig bag I've gotten, I am surprised that I've not yet found the, um, the pig door. Oh, well, goodbye, extra life. I'm surprised I've not found the pig door for the forest. The, uh, I don't remember that quest. Never runs out and can control laughing and crying fits. Oh man. You know what would have been nice anytime I needed to open a door? Having that. That that would have been nice. Thousand year old bell. Go see the one thousand year old man anytime, anywhere. But what if I don't want to see the one thousand year old man? Oh, okay. I think I understand. Trish Tamba, no one cares. Well, at least they conveniently put fast travel in this game. Reusable fast travel. But I don't need it. What I need is an evil pig door that will allow me to stop the horrible winds of hell from blowing across the mountain and sweeping all life away into the dust. That, or like four more pieces of cheese, because I really want to complete that quest, because cheese is great. Either seems about as useful right now. Hello, old man, and goodbye. You exist only as a fast travel point now. What I actually would like is some butterfly bait. So I can, like, have the butterflies. And not do this for the next, like, five million years. Endless spawning pigs. I also kind of want to know what these are, but I'm not entirely sure. You know, I wish they gave you hints for a lot of things, like... I mean... This was before the era where convenience was more common in games, but you know, like, a butterfly charm, a cheese whistle, a door, a door mine sweeper, I don't know.
Thanks, now everyone will be healthy throughout the year. From this one piece of seaweed. Look at Baron, he's gotten really big. When you brought him here, he was just a little pup. Now he's a healthy big fella, aren't you, boy? I don't know, lady. Where is Baron? Well, look at that. Baron wants to go with you. Why don't you take him along? I think he wants you to get on his back. Go ahead. He'll be okay. If he ever gets hurt again, bring him here. I'll make him all better. Both of you take care. Okay. Can I actually see him? Oh, no. He's in my inventory, so I still technically can't see him. Use Baron and his big ears to fly you to any location you previously visited. Okay, well that is nice. Now I don't need these feathers anymore. Well, I just want to fly somewhere so I can see. I mean, he's not that big. Those are... Not that abnormally large ears, depending on the breed of dog. But... You know, it makes complete perfect sense that he can fly, all things considered. I was expecting him to be like Clifford the Big Red Dog size, the way this woman kept going on and on about how big he's gotten. Like, ears as long as this wharf. Still stumped on where to go. Like, I've gone to so many places and yet so few places. Still don't know what to do with statues. Or the blue powder. Or the doidy mirror. Oh yeah, I need to go visit the mice, I, see, I guess. Now that they're not mice now, and they're boring humans again. Question is, am I in, what am I in the right place for? Am I in the right place for door? The door time? Are you door? No, but I can drop off some butterflies. Excellent. I'm going to shove that pig so hard into this bag. So I only need ten. Yep, ten butterflies. E and haw. Well, good thing I have this parasol. It is time to cure the wind and make the worst area in the game tolerable. Well, debatably the jungle's worse. I don't know, it's really hard to compare. They're both awful. Wow! How did you get in here? This area is off limits to all else except me, the stormy evil pig. The one and only master of the storms. It's not a place for little people like you. Now. Take you and your funky hair out of my sight. My storms create havoc for everyone. Aha, all the better. I do as I please. These great storms are masterpieces. Gold bracelet? Why, yes, gold is beautiful. Oh, hello, hello. Thank you, thank you, and welcome to the stream. Gold bracelet? Why, yes, gold is beautiful. What's the problem with Kalekia? Behold this ferocious storm. I am the ruler here. Don't ever underestimate me. I'll see to it that you understand who's in charge here. I'm not sure you will. Oh, owie. As if I should be surprised, but the spike... The spike hurt. Well, the spikes hurt, but the tornadoes do not.
Okay, so this is probably going to be the easiest. Well, I was going to say it would be the easiest, but I dared touch this dirty shoe. So he got malaria and died. It happens. Oh my lord. Okay, I need to get rid of this parasol. This is not the time for it. This is like the opposite of the time for it. Really? You're gonna, like, appear there for one second? Except Tomba. Tomba cannot throw up. He can only throw left, right, and down. Okay. We're gonna try that again. As soon as I drop off these butterflies again. Though, one of the very good things is, once I do this, I at least know one more new location I can go. Because there's a door I will finally be able to open. It's not this door. Although, it'll be so nice to deal with this pig. And then that leaves... Three more? Two more? I think three. Three more pig. Oh my lord. need to jump on him. Well, I need to get him to spawn, like, up. Not down here. Tamba is not on the spikes, which is all that matters. Hey, hey, hey! Well, thank you, thank you. It uh, wasn't the most impressive of victories, but it was a victory nonetheless. Well, now, we're definitely gonna go over there as soon as I find the save device. It's gonna be so nice to see this. See this horrendous place without wind. Place devoid of all the terror it once held. At least relatively. It's 
such peaceful and happy music now. I was kind of hoping that, you know, the evil pig magic would get rid of those things. Because honestly, those things are also pretty evil, but I guess the mountain is still naturally evil. It's just not windy. Well, back to work. Oh, I wasn't even thinking about this, but... And there's some cheese. But wait, if the people aren't mice anymore, do they even want the cheese? Either way, what is in here? A large lunchbox. I was, you know, expecting probably quite literally anything else, but that's fine. Well, that brings us back to the part where I have no clue where to go. But that's fine, because we're also at about the two hour mark for Tamba as well. And we did get two more evil pigs, and a lot of more uh, quests done. But I'm not saving and stopping here. This, I don't care how happy the music is. This place is still full of awful memories. But I really don't know. Oh, yeah. I need to visit the village, because I haven't been there since... You know, since I made everyone boring again. So let's go see all the boring nerds. See if there's anything new there beforehand. Hey, how's it going? What do you think? Pretty attractive, huh? That's all thanks to you, Tomba. Are you master of the grapple now? Wow, that's all the input you have? Thanks. May I help you? Thanks to you, we're back to our original bodies. Thanks a lot. He's very sad. I'm a fortune teller who can see people's future experiences. Normally fortune tellers only speak to those with high AP levels, but since I'm still in training, I look at your fortune. Okay, look at my fortune. Pink is somewhere really hot. Green is the mansion on the lake. Red is awaiting a miracle. Those aren't pig bag hints, right? Like... Okay, they are. Son of a bitch. Although, to be fair, the red is awaiting a miracle in no way is helpful. Like, there's not a single world where that helps.
What an pointless description for this quest. Like, what is this? Something was hidden from view. Where? When? Who? Oh, I guess I'm not gonna do that unless I have it upon it. Thank you. Hi, Tombo. You always have so much energy. Take care. I can hardly believe it's true. You really defeated the evil pigs. So we're able to find any cheese? Kinda? You want some of it now, I guess? I... Nope. They only take payments in units of 10. Which is fair, because... I'm probably not going to get a reward until I have 10, so... Have you met the fortune teller's friends yet? Nope. I'm just thinking. Take healing mushrooms to take away the effects of the evil mushrooms, then what if you have it to eat other kinds? Like suspicious mushrooms and get paranoid. What should I take to get well? I remember there's lots of weird mushrooms around here. This would be some safe kind. Thank you very much. You found a key? Uh, yep, no new dialogue. Okay, well. So basically no one no one here is helpful. I should have left them as mice. I should have just worked out some non-aggression tree with that pig and had him be the only pig I did not defeat. Because at least then they'd be mice and not just nerds that don't help me at all. Well. Regardless. Two more pigs defeated. More being stuck and not knowing where to go. And more quests completed. So, all in all, a successful Tomba stream after a successful Final Fantasy stream, which means tomorrow we shall be even more successful, hopefully. That's usually how that works. Here's hoping, anyway. But that will be the end of our streaming for Thursday night. Which means I shall return with more adventures frustrations and well I don't even know what you would call what happens in Tomba but more of that as well so I hope all of you wonderful people have an absolutely wonderful night and as always I shall see you next time Take care.